This video highlights our recent stay at the Brighton Recreation Area and specifically the Bishop Lake Lower Campground. Adjacent to the Lower Campground there is also an Upper Campground and both of these are considered modern. That means they have electricity only but there's a water facility and a dump station on site. Plus they do have restroom and shower facilities. There are also rustic campgrounds in the recreation area and that just means exactly that. You have no amenities at all. We had site 75 and we spent a week there. And it was a fairly nice site, fair to level, mostly sunny, although we did have a couple trees on the back side. But I was still able to get a good satellite signal from where we were at. And this is, you know, mid-May, in the middle of the week. Not a lot of people here yet. Uh, there we are over there. And as you can see, we're probably only about 20% full. Over by the weekend, it's going to be completely full. We have a nice bathhouse here, fairly modern. But like most Michigan State Parks, electric-only sites. While most of the sites at the park are level, there are a few that are not. Especially those in the lower campground on the west side along the creek. Within walking distance from the Bishop Lake campgrounds, you can rent canoes and kayaks, and there's a small boat ramp, but it's generally for smaller boats because this is a fairly small lake. The park is full of trails that you can walk or bike, and they scatter all over the park. There is a map that you can get at the park headquarters that shows where all the trails are. There is also a fishing pier between the campground and the beach. And we have the beach here. And the picnic area. The beach is about a quarter mile away from the campground. And you can either walk it or you can drive to it because there is a parking lot at the beach. There is also an archery range at the beach. And so you can practice your archery skills if you'd like. One recent trend that I have seen at Michigan State Parks is that many of them now charge you a $10 fee to dump or fill if you're not staying there. If you have to go to the dump station during your visit and have to pull the RV, upon re-entering, watch out for the roof of the administration building. If you turn too sharp, it's not very friendly to RVs. While the campground is fairly secluded, it's only a short distance of about five miles to get to the town of Brighton. Now Brighton is basically in the northwest corner of the greater Detroit area. I'd say about 45 miles from downtown Detroit. So you're not really going to get all of the big city feel. You're just going to have all of the things that you can get from a big city like a camping store, RV dealership, even a Costco. Visit rv-project.com.